Welcome friends, and this one's find the real part of 1 over z and also the imaginary part of 1 over z. So it's going to be here 1 over z. This is equivalent to 1 over x plus yi by the definition of a complex number z. Multiply by a form of the number 1, which is done here, x minus yi, which is the conjugate of x plus y. Same thing on the bottom, x minus yi. Then you carry this out, so it's going to be the following. In the top, it's just going to be x minus yi. But on the bottom, it's a difference of squares, really. So it's going to be x squared minus, and then it's going to be yi quantity squared this way. And then the top, you have here x minus yi. In the bottom, though, you're going to have x squared minus y squared, and then i squared. Continuing here, you're going to have in the top now x minus yi. In the bottom, you'll have x squared, and then minus y squared. And then, and then i squared can be replaced with negative 1. Continue here, it's going to be x minus y squared on the bottom, x squared, and then negative y squared times negative 1 is going to give you a positive y squared this way. One thing that we should note here is that's kind of important. The expression on the bottom, x squared plus uh, y squared, means something. So when you put absolute value bar, so to speak, you're taking the modulus of z, so then it's defined using the Pythagorean theorem as x squared and then plus y squared this way. And then if you square both sides of this quantity, then you have the square of that is equal to x squared and then plus y squared. Keep that in mind. So now what you can do is say the real part of 1 divided by z is the same as the real part of this expression right here, x minus yi over x squared plus y squared, which is then the same as the real part. You can break this into individual fractions, x and then on the bottom, x squared plus y squared, and then minus yi, and this whole thing, like this, say, divided by that same x squared plus y squared. And then picking out the real part, that's the one without the i, that would be simply equal to x divided by x squared plus y squared. But x by itself is the real part of the number z. So you can say it's the real part of z. And as you can see, the x squared plus y squared from above there is really the z here with the bars and then squared this way. The imaginary part of 1 divided by z works the same way. So it becomes the imaginary part of this expression, in other words, broken into two pieces. And then you just extract the part next to the i. So that would be the following. Negative y divided by that x squared and then plus y squared. But this is just negative and y by itself for a complex number of the form x plus yi y by itself is the imaginary part of the number so it becomes negative imaginary z and on the bottom that x squared plus y squared is as you can see there this quantity squared this way and then these are the answers please leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in another video